Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And it's time to do three unboxings in one video, all on Realme phones. And these are the first Realme phones that I'm checking out. And these are very strong budget contenders. Now, pricing is gonna vary based on the market you're in, but the 6 Pro is under $250. And then you have the 6 and the 6i, which are both under $200. Now at that price point with the 6 Pro and the 6, you get a 90 Hertz display. And then the 6i is more of a longer battery life. It has a very large 5,000 milliamp hour battery. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox all three of these phones from Realme, take a quick look at them and compare. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's get started. We're gonna begin with unboxing the 6 Pro. Before we start opening these boxes, I want you to take a close look at a couple of the differences in the specs. So this is the Pro on the left and the 6 on the right. Both do have 90 Hertz displays. They are LCD. They also have 30 watt flash charge and 4,300 milliamp hour batteries. And then a big difference between them is the processor on the Pro. You have a Snapdragon 720G from Qualcomm, and then you have the Helio G90T from MediaTek. You will start seeing more phones with MediaTek processors, in my opinion, going forward. And with the 6i, you do have a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, 18 watts of quick charge, and from MediaTek, the Helio G80 processor. Let's get started with the 6 Pro. Welcome to the Realme family. Opening this up, it does have a case inside, especially at this price point. That's awesome that Realme did include some extras like a case. We will put this on the phone in just a second. Of course, some information and a quick start guide as well. Next up inside is the phone. We can take that out. I'm gonna set that to the side for just a second. And we're gonna check out everything else that does come in the box, our power brick and also our USB cable. You do also have a SIM ejection tool in there, and here is a close look at that power brick. Fairly larger in size in comparison to others, but like I said, it does have 30 watts of power transmission, and here is a look at that USB cable next to it, USB type C and to USB type A to actually plug into that power brick. Let's do the classic flip it over a bunch of times before we can plug it on in. And in plastic is our Realme 6 Pro. Let's go ahead and take it on out, free it from the plastic. So peel this on off and open it on up. Some really cool coloring right away. Some reddish on the left and some purple going on on the right. Let's go ahead and boot it up for the first time. Looks like it does have a fingerprint scanner built into the power button on the right side. And while it boots up, let's take a close look at this phone. So something I'm noticing with the back is that it kind of looks like a cool lightning bolt depending on how the light hits it with a purple on top and a more deeper red down at the bottom. Speaking of the bottom, bottom of the phone, you do have a USB-C slot one of the speakers, you do have a headphone jack. Always nice when companies do include a headphone jack. As I mentioned on the right side is that power button with a built-in fingerprint scanner. It does have a bit of a ridge to actually indent into the phone so you can easily set your thumb on that fingerprint scanner. Moving along up the top, just a microphone. And then on the left side, is where that SIM slot is and a couple power buttons. Quick side note, not only is it a dual SIM card slot, it also does have a micro SD card slot for expandable storage in the phone. Aside from the cool design and coloring on the back, it does say Realme. And then moving along, you have an AI quad camera system. You do your main sensor is a 64 megapixel wide angle lens. You also do have a 12 megapixel telephoto lens, which zooms in two times optical and then also an eight megapixel ultra wide and a two megapixel macro lens. So a macro lens is one where you can take real close up shots. On the front, fairly minimal bezels. It does have a pre-installed screen protector, which is always very welcome in phones and a dual front facing camera system that does have a cutout in the display. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly run through the setup process and only talk about anything that is noteworthy. Setting up the lock screen, it asks for your face unlock. So let's go ahead and enroll that very quickly. Um, it's probably gonna be a little hard with the lighting, but it actually did a pretty good job. That was actually fairly quick considering the lighting and the camera being next to me. Let's go ahead and turn on raise to wake. Now, fingerprint scanner as well. So you can have both set up the face unlock and our fingerprint scanner. So just lifting and setting it on. Fairly easy to recognize and find because that is where the power button is. And like I said, there are those indents in the side. So you can really just find where that thumb is supposed to go. And we should be all set. One more. 
There we go, we're all done. You can choose auto update overnight and switch out the home style icon. So there is default, you have material style and pebble. So there are a few different options. I'm gonna try the material style and apply that. Welcome to Realme UI. Let's go ahead and get started. We are now on that home screen. Let's go ahead and unbox the other phones. I'm not gonna run through the setup process on those, but let's go ahead and see if there's anything different in the boxes and then compare the phones themselves. This unboxing is gonna be much quicker. Realme 6 inside. Looks like they do include a phone case as well. Again, very similar style. Let's go ahead and continue on. We do have the phone and the exact same things in terms of the power brick, your cable, and I don't see a SIM ejection tool in there. I think they might've just kind of forgotten there should be one in here. So just kidding, it looks like the SIM ejection tool is right there on the inside. All right, taking it out of the plastic, a little smoother with this one. Go ahead and peel this sticker off. Different coloring, a nice little blue style to it. So a bit different there. Flipping it over to the front, one thing I'm noticing is that it does have a single front-facing camera as a bit of a difference from the 6 Pro. Similar on the bottom, USB-C speaker, headphone jack, as well on the right side, power button that couples as a fingerprint scanner. So again, the exact same. On the back here, you do have a quad camera system, it says Realme on the left side. Now this is a quad camera system and three of the lenses are the same. However, one of them is different. It has a two megapixel depth sensing lens as opposed to that telephoto lens that the 6 Pro has. So that's it for now on the Realme 6. We'll throw it up next to the 6 Pro in just a second. Let's go ahead and unbox the 6i. Finally, the 6i from Realme. Same quick style. We're gonna do a speed unboxing. You do have a phone case. Looks like you do have a rear fingerprint scanner on this phone. And then we will go ahead and compare all three of the phones side by side. So with the phone, set that to the side and then taking a look at everything else that comes in the box. You do have your power brick, which looks a little bit different, of course, and your USB-A to USB-C cable. So again, the power brick's different. It is 18 watts of charging as opposed to 30 watts that the 6 and 6 Pro have. All right, our third phone we're going to take a look at. I don't think I've done three phone unboxings in one video before. Uh, let's go ahead and take this off, peel this sticker off, and here it is. Very interesting style with the 6i. That is kind of cool. I do like green phones in general just because it's so different. This one's definitely more of a matte as opposed to a reflection. But as you can see, as the light hits it, it does change its design and coloring. Down at the bottom, the 6i does have a headphone jack, USB-C slot speaker. On the right side, it's just a power button, no fingerprint scanner embedded. And then on the left side of the phone, your volume rockers, your SIM slot, on the back with that cool green design says Realme, does have a quad camera system as well and a rear fingerprint scanner. The 6 eyes camera system has a 48 megapixel wide angle lens, eight megapixel ultra wide, two megapixel macro lens and a two megapixel depth sensing lens. And instead of an in-display front facing camera, it does have a bit of a notch, just a little bit of a water drop right there. It does have face unlock as you can see. We can set that up real quick if we'd like to. Uh, again, with a weird angle, that was really quick for the face unlock, turning on raise to wake again, and then the fingerprint scanner, same system, just go ahead and set my finger on and release it on the back of the phone as to it being, you know, embedded into the fingerprint scanner. Interested to see which one you guys prefer. If you do prefer the rear or embedded in the, in the power button, let me know, drop a comment. And as promised, just a quick look at the cases. They are clear, so not really sacrificing much in terms of that cool design and coloring on the back. With the camera cutout, it does have AI quad camera text cut out there, just a little bit different. And then on the right side, the power button is open, so you're not pressing it through anything, obviously because it is a fingerprint scanner. Down at the bottom, cutouts look good. And then the left side, the power buttons are actually, or the volume rockers are actually covered. And with the 3i, power button is covered. Cutouts look good. There is a cutout for that fingerprint scanner. Makes it even easier to reach because you just find the hole in the case and you're good to go. Covered buttons and cutouts look good down at the bottom. All right, here is a look at the three phones side by side. The 6 and the 6i have 6.5 inch displays and the Pro has a 6.6 inch display. 1080p on the 6 and 6 Pro, 720p on the 6i. Now they are obviously different colors, but in terms of just style design, they are very similar between the 6 
and 6 Pro, just the 0.1 inch difference in the displays. And with those front displays in that upper left hand corner, a little bit different with the dual camera system versus the single camera system. So let's go ahead and jump into settings on the 6 and 6 Pro and change it to 90 Hertz. Multiple options in display settings. They do have dark mode, eye care. You can change the screen color temperature as well. But moving along down towards the bottom screen, refresh rate, it gives you the option to have it auto select what the refresh rate is going to be, or you can select 60 Hertz and 90 Hertz. 90 Hertz is going to be smoother. It will use up a little bit more battery life, but you will notice a difference between 90 and 60 Hertz. And just a quick slow-mo comparison of 90 Hertz versus 60 Hertz. The 6 Pro has 90 Hertz and the 6 has 60 Hertz selected. Let's jump into the camera on the 6 Pro very quickly. Gives you a couple options. You can go ahead and use that telephoto 2x zoom. However, you can also zoom in more if you'd like to. Ultra wide angle lens to include a lot more in the shot for you. And this is just the example of there, but I wanna show off the macro lens too. So if we go into more, there's ultra macro. It says best quality at four centimeters. So maybe we could do a macro shot of a phone. So here's the 6i. I'm gonna get it real close to the lens here. And as you can tell, I'm getting super close and it's still staying in focus. So that's what a macro lens can do. And obviously not just phones you can get cool shots with. Wildlife plants are really awesome to get really up and close with like bees or any colorful sort of plants and flowers. So that's everything I wanna talk about with the 6 Pro, the 6 and the 6i. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Uh, pretty exciting from Realme products wise. Nice to include a 90 Hertz display in such a low price point device, or of course a larger battery as well. So drop a comment, let me know what you think about these three phones. And as always guys, thank you very much for watching.